All right, so really quick here. Six, one, that's right, negative six, one, three, negative two. So which of the following is a factor? So only one of them is going to give me a remainder of zero. So let's go through and see if we can do this all on the same screen right there. All right, so negative six to the third plus nine times negative six squared plus 16 times negative six. I'm going to doubt this is going to be zero plus 12. Oh, it is. So it's a factor. So that means the other three must not give me. I'm going to double check this here and make sure I didn't just type something in wrong. 1 to the third plus 9 times 1 squared plus 16 times 1 minus 12. There's no way that one's going to be 0. That one's 14. I think it'd have to be negative, looking at how this works here. It's got a lot of pluses in it. That's 144, so it's definitely not that. And then we'll put negative 2 in there, sorry. Negative 2 to the third plus 9 times negative 2 squared plus 16 times negative 2 minus 12. Negative 16. Close. So if you trust yourself, you could have stopped today. I never trust myself. If I'm taking a test, I'm definitely going to double check everything. Uh, if I'm not taking a test, I probably wouldn't. But taking something that's graded, double check yourself to make sure you're